Hey guys, what's going on? It's day two of Sleeper Simulant Quest and they're dropping like prom night panties. In this video, I'm going to go over everything you need to do to be successful and start the quest, including the still images of the codes you will need to input. Also today, the second half of the quest dropped a few hours ago at reset. Don't worry, the first mission is the only thing that even remotely resembles something hard to complete. And while the puzzles might have been tricky, the Destiny Hive Mind has cracked that long ago. So sit back, chillax, and let your man Sly show you the ways of the simulant. So first up, for this quest to even be available in your director, you need to have been some of the lucky guardians that get those Dvalin fusion rifle drops out in the wild. Doing strikes seemed to be the best way to have them dropped, but I have picked up quite a few on patrol in the past couple days. The exact number, however, I currently don't know. It's speculated that you need to have 4 dropped and turn into Banshee, but I've also heard that it's 6. I was going to guess 5, so let's just say that you need between 4 and 6 fusion rifle drops, also known as Dark Age Relics, to be set on the path of the simulate. Once you have enough, nothing will pop up and tell you that you can start it. The only evidence lies on Earth, where a purple triangle dances on a mission called the First Firewall. So if you can see that, then you, my friend, are G to G. Click on it and start heading to the Seraphim Vault, where you fight Omnigal. Feel free to look around outside if you so wish to do so, but once you go past the door entering the Warmind, you're stuck, so just a heads up. Once you're in, stand by the computer like you're about to silence Omnigal's screams, and as you do, notice the word SURVIVE at the top left. On my first run through of this mission, I killed everything ASAP, but if you slow down and look, these knights spawn unnaturally, like it's, you know, on purpose. Check out the order of this first wave. Okay, so there is plenty of fighting left, but once you kill a big ass boss at the end, you get a drop called a Curious Receiver with four puzzles attached to it. Remember those knights in the order they spawned? Yeah, pretty nifty, right? Shout out goes to my clan member Steve-O who first told me about it. You don't need to write any of these down unless you just want to do it for fun, because you're about to see all the codes in a second. But that was a pretty nifty trick on Bungie's part if I do say so myself. At the end of four waves, Big Daddy Knight spawns and you're almost done. Go back to the door where you first entered and snipe from that corner. You can kill him pretty fast and pretty easily, and don't forget your three of coins. Here's what you end up getting from Kandorak. Now open up your inventory and scroll over to missions where your faction allegiance badge lies. Hover over it and hit Y or triangle depending on your console. Here are the following four codes in order. If you're keeping track of this yourself, know that Hive Knights signify a top sequence and a Taken Knight means a bottom sequence. Once you have entered all four codes, the transceiver starts broadcasting. Are you wondering where it's broadcasting to? Dive into your director and check out Earth one more again. When you locate the next mission called Shadow Call, you're on the right track. Click on it and head on in. Now just a heads up, this is a single player mission only and it is a timed mission at that. So if you're in a fire team, split up and when you first spawn in, don't get too excited and run straight because you're going to end up pulling a sly at the start of the mission. So assuming that you didn't fall in the hole, book it to the top where you usually fight the Echo of Oryx. Don't stop for anything because you only have 4 minutes to run all the way up there, open a chest, 
wait for the bosses to spawn, and then kill all three majors before the clock runs out, so step on it. If you manage to kick enough ass in the time allotted, your drop is an exotic core called the Aikilos Fusion Core. Just like the Curious Transceiver, take a look at it under the mission sections of your inventory and see if you can figure out the hints. If not, I got you. First, you need to dismantle a legendary heavy weapon from any year. Next, head to Venus and complete story mission archives. Doesn't have to be heroic and it's not timed, and no, you won't get a wimpy sleeper simulate if you do it on easy. The bottom three are all defend the Warsap public events. You have to find one on Mars, one on Earth, and one on the Moon. The last two aren't so bad, but Mars? Pfft, horrible, hoary, blay. Now that you have done all the required tasks, it considers the module repaired. And now, the gunsmith wants to play with it. The, the fusion core, guys. He wants to play with the fusion core. Oh, jeez. Anyway, head to the tower and let him have it. The fusion core. Let him have the fusion core. Congratulations! Stage 1 is complete! The very next day at reset, head to the tower and talk to the gunsmith. He gives you a hint that you need to go take down the saber shank in the Cosmodrome, and when you look in your director, it's blinging right at you. If you get the Taken version of the strike, look for my other video on my channel to help you get past the war set. Or if you wish, take your fire team back to orbit and see if you can get another version. It's not impossible fighting the Taken, but it is a level 42 strike and it's set at level light level 280. It can get tough if you're a lower level. I have a link in the box below if you want to check it out. And also, contrary to the theorists and riddle hunters out there, we don't have to do a damn thing while we're in here. So, beat the boss, don't forget your three of coins, and then check out your new drop. Not quite what you were looking for? Well, let's change that. Head to the tower, talk to Banshee one last time, and behold, the almighty and the tad bit disappointing Sleeper Simulate. Next time. The hype for this gun, man, was unreal. People destiny-wide were going absolutely boo-boo bananas over this thing. Its true potential I don't think will be known until we get into the raid, so grab a fire team of guardians and get out there. But my first impressions? I'm actually a little bit disappointed. If you don't have the quest yet, here's a little gameplay on Patrol. It's not Clutchmaster 5000 boss fight or anything, but you can see it and hear the sounds it makes much better like this. So enjoy it Guardians, hope you liked this video. If you're a newcomer to the nation, thanks for watching. Hope you stick around and become an active subscriber, and if you're feeling frisky, give the thumb a spank for me. As always, if you're watching this right here, right now, then you Guardian are the biggest badass that I have ever witnessed. Stay Sly Guardians, this is your boy Sly, done, over, out.